Okay, now we're going to proceed to actually uh, demonstrate and talk to you about the crib tool head. Now the crib tool head was designed because obviously if you don't have a flat knob on the end of your Euro cylinders or your oval cylinders, like the standard trough would undo all the flat turners, regardless of the shape, that would do that. What if you had a round turn or a triangle turn? Well, we come up with the uh, solution, which is to design and uh, produce a multifunctional tool, which we call a crib head. And how you do that, you have a selection of pins. You have uh, one that's got a thin pin, and then you have a fat. And then also you have, uh, let me just angle these up to you so that you understand a bit better. You have bent angled pins, extra fat one, a skinny one, uh, bent pins with uh, no uh, rubberized part of them and you also uh, and that's basically it. This, what we're going to do is quickly put a different configuration together for you. So first of all we're going to, they're threaded so you would on the wide point put two standard pins in. Then what we suggest is over the period of time is you gather a selection of turns and you keep them within your kit. Now obviously you'd locate that on there and then you see which fits you best. So we'd get a single bent pin and we'd locate that on there like that. And how you would operate that is you'd come through, you would hook it on from the top and then you would push and then it would locate and then grip and turn. So if you had a very large turn, you do exactly the same thing, but obviously you'd have to adjust it further away. We give you quite a few selection of pins because you might want to put two pet bent pins on a situation where you have a turn like a large one like this. There's another one over here takes a little bit of time to get it done but works very efficiently. Now you can see you can angle them at an angle like that so if you come on it will go there. Now that's obviously too small so you might want to say well, okay I need them to be fatter so we take these ones out that's why we gave you fat pins as well use the fat pins which takes up the distance a little bit more goes in there same again you get the idea basically you just adjust the heads to the required position this is why we say that you need to gather a selection of turns and put them within your kit and we come down just one as they're rubberized they grip quite efficiently and go on there so that would have been done with a with a you could still turn that then also You've got a different size head and you just adjust the actual pins accordingly. Now also this one will also work on British Standard Yale Knight latches where you've got the flat turn, you just slot it over on the turn and twist and it would rotate. Basically anything that's round, flat that needs to be rotated, this grip head will do it.